Hey, it's Daniel Bonjour. I played Aiden on The Walking Dead. You're listening to Preach Questions. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Preach Questions. I am here with Daniel Bonjour, who you may remember as Aiden from The Walking Dead. Now, the first question is, uh, you were in The Walking Dead for three episodes. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your favorite part of working on the series? Uh, favorite part? Uh, as, as a fan, it was just walking on set the first day, you know what I mean, and seeing just the massive size and scope of this project and how people care about it and like meeting everybody and how nice the cast and crew so that first experience I'll never forget and then getting involved with the storyline and everything it, it, it just kind of felt natural after that and uh, how was it getting to get in the thick of the action and film a fight with Glenn and, and, uh, and the other actors as well it's cool man everybody gets so into it like you know it's Obviously, you do as much as you can to make it safe and stuff, but people want to give, like, the audience and the fans, like, as real and as hardcore as they can do it. So we get down and dirty, man. Like, everybody gets bumps and bruises and scrapes and cuts. You know, like, uh, I think Michael got hit on his fight scene. I got a little nick in mine, and it's all just trying to make it real. So it's, it's tough, man. It's fun. How does it feel to have one of the most uh, glorious to date deaths in the yeah. show? Yeah, it's awesome. Like... It was uh, just when leading up to it, everybody's like, yours is going to be gory, man. Yours is going to be gory. And all the special effects guys kept coming up to me and telling me what they were planning and doing. And so it was a full body suit. And literally when it happened, this blood just, just gushes down. And it felt like somebody threw a bucket of just fake blood all over me that just went down through my pants and everything like that. So I was like, all right, yeah, that's a lot of blood. So did it, did it take multiple takes for that or did they just do it all in one? We had one take to do the actual ripping and all that stuff and then once that was there then we were able to do multiple takes of post-death or like you know more zombie eating and screaming and that kind of stuff but the one rip open then we only had one shot and they had, I mean they had like four cameras but only one chance to do it okay. and uh, we asked uh, Michael this as well um, at the time of your death uh, there was obviously some secrets between Aiden and Nicholas mm. um, how close do you think they were at the end right before everything happened how, how close were Nicholas and, like, and yeah, Aiden like, yeah. as friends as far as yeah. like right when, when I die? I think, um, you know, I think they, they were different people. They were friends because they were like kind of trying to take care of the Alexander and stuff like that. But they started seeing their differences in each other. You know what I mean? And I think Aiden wanted to side with Glenn a lot sooner than, than Nicholas. Um, I don't think like they were... They were still close because they, they grew up together as close as you can. But, uh, but I think you started seeing their differences and that they wanted different things. And uh, so it was like a bittersweet kind of death, you know. And we are now day two in Walker Stalker Boston. Mm -hmm. um, this is your is this your first one? Or this is my second Walker Stalker, yeah. Second? Uh, yeah. How, how has it been here and how has it been at the Walker Stalker Cons overall? Uh, they're awesome, man. Like, it's great meeting everybody from different cities. I was the one in Orlando before. Um, and they always have something, like, it's always, like, slightly different. You know what I mean? But uh, it's more the same. I mean, you just get to realize how awesome the fans are. I mean, there's people that follow the cons around. And so you get to see them again. And after a while, you get to know them. And, and, and it's cool. It's really, it's just nice meeting everybody. And we try to mingle and hang out and go out with people when we can and, and so it's I think it's an awesome thing for fans to be able to come face to face with a show they love you know oh yeah definitely and uh, you've had a varied filmography um, everything from Midnight Movie to CSI uh, New York to The Walking Dead mm -hmm. um, is there any personal highlights any favorite uh, projects that you've worked on um, I did actually this web series that I, I still love it man it was before web series really took off but it was it was a big budget web series and um, it's about it's like X-Files in the 70s and we did six episodes and uh, we won best drama at the Academy for Web Television Awards and um, I still think it's like that's probably one of my favorites it was really cool it's like very sci-fi but, but much more deep underrooted like issues with these characters and it's called Receiver so it's RCVR and you can still check it out online um, but really really cool show and I'm still a huge fan of that and uh, what are you working on now? Uh, I just shot Satisfaction on USA, and uh, they are just finishing. They just finished up their second season. If they go third, hopefully they go back to that. But uh, and then I directed a movie that should be coming out uh, next year called After the Rain, 
And um, yeah, so just kind of promoting that stuff and then waiting for the next awesome show to try to get on. Awesome. And uh, if, if anybody uh, out there hasn't already and wants to follow you, is, is there any official channels you'd like to promote? Yeah, I mean, uh, just my Instagram and my Twitter, they're both Daniel Bonjour. Um, Facebook is Daniel Bonjour. It's all under the same name. But uh, I'm probably most active on Instagram. I'm getting better at Twitter. So if you tweet me, convince me to get better at it. All right. Well, thank you again for yeah, being here. Yeah, man. Absolutely. The interview. For sure. For sure.